So yesterday, a one Lord Jacob Rothschild passed away at the young tender age of 87. So at this point, you're probably saying minutes of horror, young, tender, 87 makes no sense whatsoever. But in reptoid years, 87, he's just a baby, a friggin' kid. How you doing, Phil? You okay? 47. He was a f***ing kid. Now, do I know this man individually? No, I do not. But we do know the family. And there are quote unquote conspiracies that they are the real powers that be. Rumors that they're not very liked because they own almost all the central banks around the world, including currencies between Australia, the United Kingdom, and the Federal Reserve in the United States. The basis for the movie Eyes Wide Shut, where they're hosting very weird and bizarre parties, where apparently babies are on the menu or on the table, whatever. Just another form of spirit cooking, which wouldn't be surprising when you see that Jacob Rothschild is standing next to and posing next to a high occultist, a witch in front of a painting known as Lucifer summoning his legions. Some people say it's Satan summoning his legions. Some say it's Lucifer summoning his legions. At the end of the day, it's not good. But at the end of the day, a very prominent person of the United Kingdom has shed his skin and passed away, or so they say. More than likely, he's probably hiding somewhere in some underground bunker, but this is what the reports say. With that being said, it looks like we have a royal who actually disappeared. Now, as a whole, I really don't care because over 600,000 people go missing or reported missing in the United States every year. I just like a good mystery, and this one's pretty fascinating to say the least. Now, I did happen to stumble upon this article, which adds a little mystery. This article stating that, very weird, Kate's two-month disappearance mystifies. A well-known author is the latest person to publicly express their confusion about Kate Middleton's complete disappearance from public life. The Princess of Wales had abdominal surgery on January 16th, despite the palace's insistence that the surgery was planned. People Magazine later reported that the news came as a surprise to family friends, as well as people who worked closely with the royals. Now, the last time the princess was seen in public was Christmas Day, December 25th last year, when she and her husband, Prince William, took their three children to a church service. More than two months on, and speculation is rife about where Kate may be, why she stayed out of public eye for so long, and why exactly she needed this mysterious surgery. Rachel Hawkins, a prolific author whose output includes several royal-themed books of fiction, spoke out about Kate's disappearance on social media. Prefacing her tweets by saying she does not want to speculate about a woman's health online, she nonetheless noted that she spent years eyeball deep in weird royal research for the royal books, and everything that is happening with KM is indeed very, very weird, unprecedented even. So they're pretty much saying that it's unheard of for somebody like her to disappear out of the public eye for over two months. They continue to state that we're at two months since anyone has seen her, we're not even given a militost I appreciate the well wishes statements from her. Note that we have gotten solo statements from William under his personal standard. Anything about her has been under joint POW banner, she wrote. The article continues to state that, indeed, Kate's health crisis has coincided with the most senior royal King Charles, who recently underwent surgery for an enlarged prostate, who was later diagnosed with cancer. He has issued several messages to the public, thanking them for their support during his ill health. That is also another good point to bring up, is that during Kate's health crisis, King Charles was also having his, but he was also seen in the public eye. He was also seen giving thanks to his supporters as well. Kate herself has yet to be seen or heard from. Now, Hawkins continues that while she doesn't think Kate's disappearance from public life was due to anything super nefarious, she does believe it's absolutely big time weird. Others also found it weird. Others have chimed in on the thread started by Hawkins in order to offer their two cents. One theorized that Milton's illness must involve something where they can't risk people seeing her or her being somewhere she can't be managed because there's just no way that they wouldn't have released pictures 
or had her pose or something by now. Hawkins agreed and that's all they can think of. It would be so easy to do the softest of softball photo op statements and they're just not. And Charles is doing just that kind of thing. So the contrast is striking. Australia's news royal expert Daniela Elzer suggested this week that we might expect to see Kate return to the public duties by April 17th when her children go back to school after Easter break. Also stating that if we don't see her until then, her break from public life will have stretched to almost four months. As Hawkins said, a truly unprecedented absence for a senior royal. Now people are doing what they do best. They are theorizing. They're coming up with theories as to what might have happened to Kate Middleton, given the fact that they are extremely mum about her abdominal surgery, and that there's this very stark contrast between her and King Charles, where he was diagnosed with cancer, and he has been in the public eye, and he has been very open about his diagnosis. Now, while everybody is indeed entitled to their medical privacy, people just find it very weird the stark contrast between the two. And while people do agree she does have her right to privacy, they are stating from a PR standpoint, it is very bizarre that there has not been one quick photo of her to calm any speculation. People also find it odd how the press in Britain and the United Kingdom in England are not talking about her disappearance, but a journalist in Spain for a Spanish magazine, a Spanish newspaper, did go ahead and make the statement that she's actually in a medically induced coma. Spanish journalist Caleja told her TV show Fiesta that she had spoken to an aide from the royal household in a completely off-the-record manner and that Kate's life was in great danger. The doctors had to take drastic decisions at the moment because of complications that arose. Complications during this mysterious abdominal surgery. The decision was to put her in an induced coma. They had to intubate her, Kaleha said. There were serious complications that they did not expect because the operation went well, but the post-operative period did not go so well. Kate's team told Newsweek that the claim was ludicrous and was not fact-checked by the Kensington Palace. Beyond that, the palace told the Times in early February, it's total nonsense. No attempt was made by that journalist to fact check anything that she said with anyone in the household. It's fundamentally totally made up, and I'll use polite English here, it's absolutely not the case. Also adding to the fuel of speculation is William's decision to pull out of giving a reading at a service of Thanksgiving for King Constantine of Greece. A recent post on Twitter went viral after it was viewed 6.3 million times and liked 57,000 times. It reads, you're telling me that Kate Middleton, the same woman who posed outside the hospital like a freaking supermodel mere hours after giving birth, suddenly requires months of recovery before showing her face. And the British press now magically respects privacy. This feels sinister. So a person that is anything new, I definitely will make a video about it. Now I haven't been posting on YouTube or creating videos as much as I would like because ever since I returned from New Orleans, I have been nothing but sick. I have been battling the flu and a very, very bad cough. But as soon as I am over this flu, I will definitely be going back to my normal posting routine. But I definitely want to hear from you. Please comment below. I do want to know where you believe Kate might be. Do you think she's just recuperating from this mysterious surgery? Or do you think something more sinister is at play here? Please comment below. In any case, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like. As any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.